Hello everyone, hola a todos. Uh, so this is a bonus um, video. I'm going to paint this little uh, predator. It's from the last movie. Uh, it's released uh, and this month. Uh, yeah, this month. So this is from Paella Kit. It's a really awesome models. I have this on my store to sell. If you guys want uh, to buy, just see on the description of the video uh, the link for the store for these ones. Okay, so I will start painting this one and you guys are going to see how I paint this. So this is going to be um, a very quick paint work so it's um, fast painting whatever you want to, to call so just to see the basics and you guys to see how it's easy to paint this ones this this uh, I will um, just use AK paints and some of the mediums they have and of course some of the <coughs> the metallics so this is just a quick paint and you guys going to see so the first thing I'm going to make it using a black primer and of course the thinner and for this I'm going to use my cheap airbrush okay so this is one and then for my details I'm going to use this one uh, the answer from Arden and Steinberg and this is what I'm going to use so this is a single action okay when you push back it's the same thing you are pulling down and pulling back so it's just the one the, the paint you want you just pull back so you are going to see and you can see there is no cup it's direct so this is for using um, for fine details okay and I can remove the cap and make very very little things okay so and I got here my wet palette ready clean <laughs> and of course the brushes I will use for this so the first step uh, so let's connect your gear brush to the hose I am using two bars so yeah I'm going crazy And let's add the primer. I'm not going to use too much. Uh, the, the mix normally it's 50-50. Okay, I'm just pour uh, five, uh, six drops of this, and now the thinner. The same amount, six drops. Now I'm using a brush. Uh, this is a six uh, to mix this. And it's ready to go. So let's approach a little this and start putting the primer This I want to be really nice prime with the black because this the primer is black it's going to be the shadows
and nice. So I'll just pour some cleaning on my airbrush and of course I'm going to use my air dry. So I'm just going to put a little more of primer on these. So just a little more because I want here on the top. I want every recess have a nice black color because it's going to help me a lot later. Just putting a little here on the base too because the base it's going I'm going to use a nice product from AK to make the um, the terrain with crackle. Okay, and it's done. <clears throat> now I'm going to clean this. Sorry guys. So it's very important to have a nice clean airbrush. You are not seeing that part and of course I'm now I'm going to change for the other brush <coughs> now just a little more with my air dry It's good to go. So, um, like I always said, uh, if you have any kind of flesh on the figure you are, you are going to paint, so remember always to put some color, some flesh colors. Okay, here on the body, on the legs, on the foot, we, we have kind of flesh. So I'm going to use flesh for this and I'm going to use one of my favorites uh, is here it is this is from the set of uh, flesh colors it's the beige red it's um, not too bright not too dark and uh, for me it's the right color to start okay uh, normally some guys use the basic skin tone for that but I like to get this one to have more dark areas okay so 
now let's have some drops to make and don't forget to shake it very well the the bottles so this part it's going to be uh, with the airbrush thinner of course so small amounts don't go too much and you can see mixing here too now let's continue now let's go to the flesh as you can see working Use your dryer. Just go a little more. Okay. 
Okay, now it's done. The first layer, just put your some cleaning. And we are going to change for another color. Okay, here, yeah. brush. So we use the beige red. Now I'm going because I want to a clear a more a bright one, and this is slicky pink. Okay, when we are doing fantasy figures, uh, you can pull your imagination and remember you want. Uh, always the figures to to be more bright okay because it's fantasy you are not doing a real thing okay so you want fantasy so I make a nice 50 50 too okay I want this to be more uh, thick and let's go again so now the bright areas you can see here on the chest You're on the top. Bright. Done with the pink, so I'm going to clean my airbrush. Now it's just a little the perfect cleaner. And I forgot to say this is a zero two point needle. So normally if you use a kind of this one, you must go more uh, instead of 50-50. A nice thing for this, it's a uh, one paint and three thinner. The ratio is better like that. Okay, done. Now I'm going, not going to use more the compressor for now. So now I'm going to show you the first layer I'm going to use. This one. Okay, so for you guys who don't know, uh, I got here 
the inks from AK and this is the skin ink and I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the purple one too okay so uh, it's a nice contrast for the figures it's to put the purple ink uh, the purple it's um, it's um, very good when you are using uh, the flesh tones and when we put more bright like I use this leaky pink so it's a nice thing to put the purple and of course the skin ink I'm going to show you the ratios needed for this and this is a very important the, the ratios okay I got some of these caps uh, it's perfect for this job and for this I use water okay not thinner if you use thinner you can uh, pull out uh, some of the paint and we don't want that to happen so let's okay I'm going to pull out here the wet palette for now okay so let me just take some pictures of the progress sorry guys it's good to have photo reference photos and like this when you open on your phone like I'm using you can see the mistakes you are doing okay and the parts you need to correct so it's really nice to have pictures so let's bring the first one and I'm going to use the purple ink so uh, these inks are very 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 strong to pigment so I deal with uh, very 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 much so for this drop and because I want a subtle thing like a filter I'm just going to use one drop and guys see one two three four five six seven eight eight drops of this okay I'm just closing this now let's grab here um, this is a number two for up to long. Uh, I mix this really, really nice. So, this is going to be the first layer I'm going to put before the ink. Okay. So, just pull, and this is going to be very transparent. And that's what you want. Transparency. And don't forget this. This is acrylic. So when it starts drying, if you have a, a, a mark of the brush, it's going to stain. Okay. So what we do? Just a second, let me brush all over. So this first layer is like a filter, guys. So now I clean the brush. 
and start removing the excess okay you can do lots of passage of, of this and just like this first color it's really awesome I like it I'm going to show you close and you are guys going to see so this is going to be a two part movies I'm going to put on YouTube I'm going to put this on my patreon too okay but this time it's a freebie for you all guys to see the quick paints are a really relaxing things to do and I got lots of it so as you can see I'm going to use just the, um, the air dryer okay to dry Guys, you can see, oops, sorry, it starts getting really, really awesome. You see, just with this color, we got a really nice things going on. <laughs> I like it. So, now I'm going to present you the skin ink. Okay, you can see here the number. Of course, I got this on my store, and if you guys are not from Portugal you can go to the akinteractive.com and you can buy there directly and believe it these inks are really awesome uh, some guys ask me is uh, these inks it's uh, the same like Vallejo like um, Games Workshop, uh, the Citadel things, uh, and other brands. Um, this is very different than the others, okay? Uh, I don't know why, uh, but this, um, the pigments on this are very strong and they are really good for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops, eight. Here it is. For me, I love these inks, so I'm not telling you it's the best, but for me it works really nice. So I can, you can see now I have here the mix, and let's do the same thing we do with the purple. We are going to have the first definitions on the skin. Now we are going to have some mix. And this is almost like you are doing layers of paint, okay? Because this is more quick, you guys to work and enjoy it. It's what I like in, on speed painting. It's because you have fun, okay? You don't have that problems to make this all perfect, okay? You just have fun. And for me, one of these kind of obvious it's to have fun okay I'm just removing some excess I have
So normally I start working uh, with um, the skin uh, and then I paint the, the rest oops, with the brush. Okay, here it is with the skin color. So I will be back again with the skin color and then I will put this my favorite one, the penetration, oops, the penetration red ink. Okay, this it's very good to make some of the details of the muscles, of the veins, it's really awesome that one. So this is ready for the next steps we are doing so now I'm going to paint the mask he have uh, I'm going to use the volcanic sorry volcanic yellow this is the number and the ice yellow and now I'm going to grab my wet palette this wet palette is fantastic, it's from AK and it's ready so shake it really well don't forget to shake it just a second guys I am drinking coke okay, <laughs> not gin So, check it. Okay. So, two drops, it's enough. And let's go to this and let me not forget to take pictures and two more drops okay for this I'm going to use uh, yeah the other one and one of the things I do I put here the water instead I go to the cap and then I use another napkin to remove the excess let me just put here guys for you to see okay like this and remember uh, use this like this way you put the colors on the top and then here because you want to pull uh, the colors with water to make it more thin and if you want to mix you mix here or together in the middle okay this is uh, it's my way okay but you can do in your way it's going to have here the shield too but that I'm going to paint later and then I glue later it's on the end so I like to grab some water here I put around here you can see and then I pull the paint what I want and remember because this is wet palette you got water on the bottom so I'm going to start painting first the most strong one Be careful you see I am putting it go everywhere if you don't want this to go everywhere and you want this transparency so you go to the paper and remove the excess and you can see there is not too much so we want transparency
this part it's going to be some of the And you see on this black color with this yellow you start having that kind of greenish thing I don't worry here too much of the air because here it's going to be black now let's put it with a little some water to go everywhere and careful not to go on the skin so here I need more yellow and like this we are getting some different tones and that it's what I want you see the colors are mixing together just clean here the brush and we are using the air dryer again So normally the mistake we all do is to try to paint, if I'm using this yellow, it's try to paint the first uh, the yellow and it's completely yellow and that it's wrong. You need to make like this. Uh, if you have the black uh, primer or the black color you put, it helps you a lot of making different tones, right? And that's what we want. So now, I'm going to the other color, pull with water, and start painting. Okay, this is going to be transparent. And that is what we want. So don't worry about the air at this moment. You want to feel 
you want to fill um, these more bright areas Okay. And let's use again air dry. Again, now let's go again with the yellow. Oh, I mix everything with that water. Now I'm painting the top, just the top. This is a really strong color. You are going to see how it changes later. Normal this is a gray thing. But I want this to seem different. You see how it goes? Now it's time to present you another ink. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to use the sepia ink. Okay, this is almost like a neutral uh, thing you put, and this is going to be more for the recess of the um, of your of the mask. Okay. So same thing. Let's grab another. If you guys are asking where I find this, this is from milk. Okay, we put for coffees. It's you always encounter this a lot on Germany, but now in Europe you can see around almost everywhere. So the same thing, one drop. So it's all, always the same formula. Connect drops. Just 
So if you are going to use uh, inks, uh, they are very strong. Uh, don't forget, my friends, paint more bright, okay? Because that it's what you want, more bright. And I'm going to use here just a little dear dry to dry this yellow. And on these e effects, it uh, don't do uh, a solid paint. Okay, you just want some areas more bright, a little there more, less bright, so it's not difficult. Let's go. So don't do like most people, they use the inks or the washes or the pin washes, what you want to call, uh, at the end, no. It's in the middle and at the end, it's whenever you need to dark, whenever you need to put more bright, okay, just use it. And it helps to um, make the transition of the colors, okay. Now, the thing I do with the yellow, I'm going to make the same thing. Okay, now that the color I put, yeah, it's yellow. So now on the top of this. Now we have some fantastic transitions.
you can see so much different colors we got here and when we are paint when they are drying and they dry really quickly we can go again okay now just there So in some areas I put more bright than others. And you can see how it goes. And of course you can put more brightness on this but on this part I want to give now a skin there so use hair dryer I don't I don't want to blend this one Now, let's go with the skin, right there, on the middle, not on the top, right now, I just want to put some of this color in the middle, because this is a, I think it's a bio, biochemic, I don't know, it's a Zeladek mask. And you guys can hear my cat. Yes, it's the start, the star of this. And now, with the purple, I go the same thing. the middle too so nice variations and this is fantasy guys don't ever pray to put color and another thing don't put this the principle because you have lots of violet here but you want some part to be near and this is the part if you go now here around it's going um, to blend with the rest of the color You see guys, so simple. Some of you guys say, ah, for you it's simple. No, it's not simple. It's easy. And this part, if you make a mistake, don't worry. Now, with this, I'm not drying, okay? I'm just put more definition now.
so this is going to give you that uh, definition you want side normally this mask is more for a grayish and I will give that grayish too but I want at this moment to be uh, like this here now with this go and make that transition okay for the air with the sepia one you see you, I use the inks to make the transition smooth so when I'm going to paint the air the transition it's more more easier okay and now you see the difference of the flesh for this area it's more work it so it's a big difference so just use my air dryer now I want to dry Just I'm going uh, to paint these ones, okay? It's the tooth. I'm going to use this yellow. Let's start giving some def definition. To our little predator. this point try not to ruin the skin so little by little you you paint so we got your the tooth the first layer okay now the last thing I'm going to paint on this first video it's going to be uh, here on this kind of shorts I'm going to put some um, brown and for that I'm going to use the deep brown it's the nice color to start shake it sure. let's show you deep brown 
because this is more dark it's going to these sides the more bright for this side it's normally what I do and remove a little of water and grab some of the brown here and let's just paint I like to do this in some parts because I, I want to start seeing uh, the definition of the model If I go a little on this male, no problem. I just don't want to go to the skin. In some areas, of course, I'm going to go again to the skin, but it's normal. don't want to go Okay, you see? Really easy. We are on some parts of the legs. I need to work more the, the flesh. So if I go a little something around, no problem. But take it easy because when you are working the flesh it's more difficult than to make the transitions again so there are some parts here I'm going to use uh, the off-white for making more bright areas And we are done for now on this video guys so on the next one I will start painting a little bit more on the um, on the mask it's going to have uh, this kind of gray blue and then I give an, a little more of uh, more white I'm going to use not the ivory, uh, the off white. I have somewhere here, and then I will put some there to more bright and to, um, to be more nearest from you see on the movie. And I'm going to start working on the skin and then with the penetration ink and the metal parts I will leave for uh, later. Okay. So I think this is going to be a um, three video yeah, tutorial. So this is the first one and this is uh, an offer I am doing here for YouTube and you guys can see. And of course this is for my Patreon but this is free for you guys to see and if you guys want to see more things about my works and um, to see it just go and to the Patreon and make yourself a Patreon of me. Okay? So, guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, first video, and I catch you up on the next. Bye, guys.